right, in this short video, I just want to show you how I'm going to finish off my flat coloring. The main key is to just get everything filled in. And so what I've done is I've selected everything that is a contained shape. And then I go to my flat color layer, once PhotoP catches up with me, and I'm going to pick just a really outlandish color for my paint bucket. Like, let's see, hold down Option, and maybe this bright orange, light orange. And I'm going to drop it in, and it will fill it everywhere I have a contained shape. Which is a lot of places, right? Everything else for my fox head is an open shape. So how do I fill in open shapes? Let me show you. Oh, except I missed that one shape. So let me fix that quick. I just go to my black line art, use the magic wand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there are shortcuts as long as you're understanding what you're doing, right? <laughs> no, but I mean, like you see what it's doing and you can verify it. And that's the only reason I don't teach like too many, like one key shortcuts, there are a lot of them. Like you can switch to tools and it's the shortcut it's showing you. Like if I hit G, it will get me to the paint bucket tool from whatever other tool, but then you won't know why you're on this tool that you're trying to control. But yeah, shortcuts can really be helpful. So you'll notice this fox head is almost completely contained, except right there it's open, where you enter the maze, and right here it's open, where you exit the maze. I don't want to have to rasterize my line art, so what do I do to make a contained shape? I make a duplicate of it. I rasterize the duplicate, and so that I don't confuse this for my line art, I call this a test fill layer, because I'm only going to use this to select and then I'm just going to paint with black to close these gaps. Close it right there. Close it right there. Okay, now I use my magic wand, and instead of going on my black line art, I do it on that test fill layer. And then it doesn't select all the background. So what do I mean? Let me show you. If I tried to select from inside on my vector, which has the openings, I select and it selects everything. And then if I try to fill it, let's say with a light blue, or this kind of grayish blue, it's kind of a cool color, it fills everything. So I don't want that. So instead I use this new copy of my black line layer where I filled the gaps and then I select with the magic wand from there. It's a whole lot easier than trying to do it all by hand with a brush, right? And then let me get a variation. I want something a little bit bluer. Drop it in and then it's nicely contained. And now everything in my illustration has a color. Oh, except <laughs> This one little contained shape I missed. Oh, and except, haha, this is what's tricky about it, setting it up. I accidentally filled it on my test fill layer. Instead of taking that selection, moving it to my flat local color, and then filling it in. That's why it's important to lock layers. And then I can turn off the test fill layer. And you'll see that the color stops right there without an outline. And it stops right there without an outline. But it works perfectly as a fill color for me. I just need to fill in this one little gap. That's why it's helpful to have these different background colors so you can see what's going on. And I can do that from my black line art because it's fully contained. Select there. Go to my flat local color. Do it with my why you lock so it doesn't let you do it on the wrong layer put it on so I'm going to lock my test fill I don't need it anymore and now 
if I turn off my black line art, you can see that every one of these shapes is separate. And if I choose a different color, like let's say I want to fill something in with green, I can now go to my flat local color layer and just fill them in. I think I want pink for the tongue. I think I want the red for the back of the mouth. No, maybe I want red for the uvula and I want something close to black. I might make it a dark blue for the back of the mouth. And all I have to do is touch that with my fill tool and it will automatically change that color. Like the nose, the nostrils, the whole fox. So maybe I want the fox not to be blue. Maybe I want the fox to be this kind of orangish red right in some parts now this is just basic flats maybe i want it to be this kind of yellowish but as long as it's all filled in i think i think the light blue is an interesting choice for now or this grayish blue this purplish blue you know that will get me started so that's filling in all your flats when they don't match, we can make them match. You can steal colors from yourself by holding down Option. Like the eyeball here, the white of the teeth I'll use inside the eyeball. Maybe the pink, the yellow. So we'll have fun. This is not my finished coloring, but it is coloring, you know. And if I really took the time to get the right colors in the right place, this might be all I need for this project. But I'm going to then also show you some different variations on it. All right. And we can do this all in PhotoP, save our progress. It will save all onto our PSD that I have on my desktop right there. I'm going to mark that as green and save it for next time. And next time we'll play with more color variations before we turn it in. All right. And though I feel very far behind on this project, you guys are doing well. And I'll get these videos posted. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely. You too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, have fun with these skills, for right. sure. And I'm probably going to work on my flat coloring a little bit right. before next week, just so I'm more happy with it. Right. Now, when they're selected, that's the only thing you can do. You can never move them to the flat color layer. And the way you can make that work is choose a layer that only one flat color can fill in. Put them all in the same And remember, it's separate from the other. So when you do later, you can click on it.
you go that way. You go that way. So this is the entire recommendation. I would just have to select the black white item. Thank you. 